show for you we're gonna help somebody right we're gonna help somebody somebody that has a, a, a fear or a phobia of something that we should all embrace uh, lovingly you know sometimes what's easy for most people can be quite difficult for some unique individual so today we're gonna have you all know him. This guy, he, he's a funny guy, man. We're going to have Cap Wilson, y'all. Cap Wilson's going to be here, and we're going to talk to him about his unique phobia. So without any further ado, put your hands together for Cap Wilson, y'all. Cap Wilson! <laughs> Ladies What's and gentlemen, on, good Cap? evening, ladies and gentlemen, good evening, good to be here, Dr. Will. Man, I'm happy to have you here today. We're going we to help you out, right? Let's focus on our star player, Pimp, and get it going. Mm-hmm. Why don't you tell everybody what it is that you struggle with? Uh, Pimp, and I'm going to keep it 100. Sometimes I'm afraid of small things. Now, that's unique. Now, tell me, like, where did that come from for you? Well, Pimbin, it's it's kind of a strange story that I really don't feel that comfortable talking about, but I will since I'm on Dr. Will. Um, l- back when I was about 13 or 14 years old, I had a nightmare of a bunch of baby chihuahuas were chasing me, but they weren't just regular chihuahuas. These chihuahuas had baby faces, and these baby faces on these chihuahuas freaked me out because all these babies had teeth, and I don't think infants should have teeth. They barked like a dog, but sometimes they will say, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. And um, I I can't lie. All my life, I've been afraid of small things with babies and babies with baby teeth or anything small or baby-ish. So, like, Cap, it's, like, well noted that you're, first of all, you're a grown man. And next, you got, like, a lot of babies, though, right? I'm a grown man who does grown man things, but I don't really mess around with babies. I adopt a lot of babies, but they're not babies. When I get them, they be grown. Uh, I prefer they have a mustache and a beard by the time I adopt them. Kind of like Mr. Drummond did for Gary Coleman. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) What you talking about, Cap? (laughs) Me being afraid of small babies? No, I was asking like, like, you know, Gary Coleman thing. I was playing off of that. Excuse me, Pimpin. I'm sorry I missed my cue. (laughs) <laughs> it's all good. So, you scared of babies? I said I'm afraid of babies. I'm just here to discuss that. Okay, so, like, <laughs> okay, now we're getting somewhere. So, like, <laughs> why babies in particular? Well, if you were watching social media a few years back, I was attacked by a baby. Oh, so we talking more recent. Mm-hmm. What? So, like, what happened? I was playing soccer with some children, and all of a sudden, this big grown baby just decides he wants to attack me. He put his arms around my neck, and I was on the ground screaming, saying, somebody, please come and get your baby, because this baby got too many muscles, and this baby is too strong to be a regular baby. I'm a little bothered by it, Pimp, and I can't lie. So you got, like, PTSD, like, with this situation is what you're saying. Of course I have PTSD, pimps timing and steady deliveries. So if I bring a baby out right now, you can... Shut up, nigga. You better not bring no baby out here. <laughs> Doc, I'm warning you. If a baby comes out here, I'm karate chopping the baby right in its esophagus. Cap, relax, man. These are children. They're harmless. There is no such thing as a harmless baby. You ever been robbed by a baby before? <laughs> no, I've never been robbed by a baby. They are dangerous. They are armed and dangerous, and you better watch your back. So, 
something in you has to tell you that this is a little extreme, right? Wrong. What is extreme is when you got four chihuahua babies got you picked out in a corner and one big huge baby just comes out of nowhere with all the muscles and wraps his head around your neck and chokes you out in front of a whole bunch of other little kids. That is extreme. And that is why I've started Cap's Extreme Self-Defense Against Babies. And guess what? I dare baby run up on me right now. We will choke you out. We will handle our business. We will not tolerate baby attacks. We will handle you like Trump is handling the White House. We will tweet a lead, lead and start a war. I love fighting babies like Kanye loved Trump. And with that being said, I will run for president this 2020. I will make America's streets safe. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, 2020. I will make fighting babies great again. That's right. I will make fighting babies great again. This is my promise to you. You have heard it here first. Ladies and gentlemen, Cap Wilson for president, and I approve this message. Are you freaking kidding me? You ought to be equipped and prepared. (laughs) Get these babies before (laughs) these babies get you, ladies and gentlemen. Man, you know what? (laughs) On that note, release the baby chihuahua. Nigga, stop playing. Get these these baby chihuahua babies out of here. Who's getting out of hand? My security can help, right? Okay, we'll we'll see you next time. We don't get these guys some real help. But we'll see you next time on the Dr. Will Show. Make it happen, all right? See you next time. It's crazy. Just let it happen. Once it bites you, you won't be afraid anymore. Nigga, what? <laughs> Listen, go follow me on Instagram at Dr. Will Show. And then make sure you go on YouTube to watch the Dr. Will Show. It is the Dr. Will Show. It's going to be crazy, right? <laughs> Woo!